Have you ever pondered the importance of safety on a mooring deck? The mooring deck is the heart of ship operations, a bustling hub of activity where precision and caution are paramount. But it's not without its hazards. Picture the weighty mooring lines and hefty equipment, the potential for slips, trips and falls on wet or uneven surfaces. Imagine the risk of body parts getting crushed or trapped between machinery, or objects falling from above. Then, there's the exposure to the unrelenting elements, harsh winds, blistering sun, icy rain. Each of these risks paints a vivid picture of the dangers that can lurk on a mooring deck. But these aren't mere hypotheticals. These are real threats that mariners face every day. Understanding these risks underscores the critical nature of safety measures on the mooring deck. The key, as we will explore, lies in preparedness, vigilance, and adherence to best safety practices. So how can we mitigate these risks and ensure a safer working environment? It all starts with best practices for mooring deck safety. Let's delve into some of these crucial practices. First off, regular safety inspections and maintenance of mooring equipment is a must. This ensures that machinery and gear are in good condition, reducing the likelihood of unforeseen mishaps. Next, maintaining open lines of communication during operations is paramount. A well-coordinated crew is a safe crew. Remember, every single operation is a team effort. Then we have training. It's essential for all crew members to be well-versed in mooring operations and emergency procedures. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it's a lifesaver. Of course, we can't forget about personal protective equipment or PPE. Gloves, safety shoes, and high-visibility clothing are just a few examples. These items are your first line of defense against many of the hazards found on the mooring deck. Finally, implementing safe working procedures can't be overstated. Securing mooring lines before releasing tension, using proper lifting techniques, and being vigilant about potential hazards are all part of the routine. It's also worth mentioning that these practices aren't just recommendations, they're standards set by maritime safety authorities around the globe. So, they're not just good ideas, they're the law. Adherence to these practices can significantly reduce the risk of accidents on the mooring deck. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Stay safe out there. But what about mooring lines? How does their handling impact safety, you may ask? Well, proper mooring line handling is a cornerstone in maintaining a safe deck. It's more than just ropes and knots. It's about understanding the potential risks and mitigating them effectively. Regular inspections of these lines are essential. Like anything else, mooring lines endure wear and tear over time. Spotting signs of damage or deterioration early can prevent accidents caused by sudden line failure. Now let's talk about storage. Proper storage of mooring lines helps to avert tangling and kinking, which can lead to unnecessary strain and potential breakage. A well-organized line locker not only keeps your deck tidy but also supports the longevity of your equipment. And of course, prompt replacement of worn or damaged lines is a must. It's not about getting the most out of your equipment, it's about ensuring a safe working environment. Proper mooring line handling is a crucial aspect of ensuring safety on the deck. Real-life incidents often provide the best lessons, shall we examine a few? Consider the unfortunate case of a seafarer who was critically injured when a mooring line snapped under tension. The root cause? A combination of poor line maintenance and inadequate personal protective equipment. The lesson learned? Regular inspection and maintenance of mooring lines is essential and so is the use of proper safety gear. Or take the incident where a crew member was trapped between a mooring winch and a guardrail. The culprit was a lack of communication and coordination during operations. The takeaway? Clear communication and teamwork can literally save lives on the mooring deck. And who can forget the incident where a seafarer slipped on a wet deck and fell overboard? The cause was a failure to properly manage the deck conditions. The lesson? Keeping the mooring deck clean and dry is paramount. These incidents underscore the importance of constant vigilance and adherence to safety protocols. So, what have we learned from our discussion today? Mooring deck operations, while vital, come with their fair share of hazards. It's crucial to conduct regular safety inspections, ensure proper communication among crew members, and use appropriate protective gear. Regular maintenance of mooring lines and safe handling procedures are also key. Real-life case studies show us the dire consequences of neglecting these practices. Remember, safety on the mooring deck is everyone's responsibility. Stay safe, stay vigilant, stay. Thank you for watching and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.